When was the last time the two sides had a conflict of this proportion? The closest reference dates back to 1967. Nathula in Sikkim. India lost 88 soldiers in the clash. China, more than 300. The pattern was the same. China couldn't take the fact that India was constructing something on its own land. Before repeating the same in Ladakh, China may want to recall its defeat in Nathula. Nathula, the year 1967. 88 Indian soldiers died in action. The Chinese lost over 300 men. That was the last time the two sides fired shots at each other. What led to the bloody conflict? Nathula is located in the Indian state of Sikkim. In 1967, India decided to fence its border with China. The plan was to put three layers of barbed wire. Work began on the 20th of August 1967. Three days later, the Chinese put on a drama. About 75 Chinese troops marched towards Nathula in battle uniform. They stopped at the border and shouted slogans. The Indian soldiers were watching. The PLA withdrew after an hour of sloganeering. There was an uneasy calm over the next week and a half. September 5th. China objected to Constantina coils on the Indian fence. A supervising officer of the PLA picked up an argument with an Indian commanding officer. The work on the fence was stopped only to resume two days later. On the 7th of September, 100 Chinese troops rushed to the border. They engaged the Indian soldiers in a scuffle. When the Chinese were beaten black and blue, they resorted to stone pelting. The border fence was to be completed on the 11th of September. Completion work was in full swing on that day. The protesting Chinese army came back to the border. Lieutenant Colonel Rai Singh was the commanding officer of the local infantry battalion. He went to talk to the Chinese troops. The Chinese soldiers opened fire, injuring Lieutenant Colonel Rai Singh. The Indian soldiers retaliated by attacking the Chinese post but they suffered heavy casualties. Soon, Indian artillery fire turned the tide. The Chinese posts were battered. Over 300 PLA soldiers were killed. India had sent its military message. On September 12th, New Delhi extended a note of unconditional ceasefire across the Sikkim-Tibet border. China rejected it but engaging India was not an option either. China had learnt a lesson in exchange of heavy casualty. So three days later, China had a change of mind. Beijing handed over bodies of Indian soldiers, along with their arms and ammunition. Not like they had an option. The bloodshed at Nathula too was a result of Chinese insecurity. 53 years later, one question remains unanswered. Why does construction on Indian land infuriate China? Clearly, it does not understand sovereignty. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.